Hey guys, welcome back to Smoke Trails. My name is Steve Gao, and in this episode, we're gonna double smoke a ham on the Pit Boss 456D pellet grill. Now I'm really excited about this episode because I love the concept of taking a pre-cooked ham from the store that's already been pre-smoked, and we're elevating the flavors by putting it back into the smoke on the Pit Boss 456D, and then finishing it off with a nice pineapple honey glaze. It's a great way to enhance the flavor of the ham and really blow your family away when you're serving it up at the holiday dinner table. Now when you buy a ham at the grocery store, there's all sorts of options. There's Carolina smoked ham, there's black forest ham, there's uncooked ham, there's pre-cooked ham, there's pre-smoked ham. Usually what you're gonna buy is a pre-cooked, pre-smoked ham. So these have already been brined, they've been pre-cooked, there's nitrites in them, and there's also some smoke flavor on the outside, but it's barely noticeable. You wanna add some smoke flavor in an actual smoker in order to actually get that smokiness coming through and add a bark to the outside. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this episode. So first step is to take this plastic wrap off. So we're just gonna snip this off and there's already a bunch of liquid and water that's gonna come out a little bit. So I'll try to keep that all in the bag. There's usually a bone protector, which is this big brown thing right here. And that's just to keep the bone from piercing the outside of the bag and to protect it a little bit. So we'll take this out and we'll take a look at what we got here. Put that to the side. So wow, that's a nice looking ham. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some olive oil to the outside. And the olive oil is gonna act as a binding agent for when we put on our Cosmo Q Honey Chipotle Killer Bee dry rub. So let's put on some olive oil now. And I'm just keeping one hand out of a glove and one hand in a glove because I like to keep one hand just dry so I know that I'm not touching the meat with it just for food safety reasons. All right, so we'll slather it in a little bit of olive oil. Okay, it's coated in olive oil now. So now we're gonna apply our Honey Chipotle Killer Bee Dry Rub from Cosmo Q. The reason I'm using this is because it has a lot of sugar in it and sugar and pork go really well together. So I think this is gonna turn out great. We're just gonna do a really light coating. We don't wanna layer it on too much. Nice light coating. That's gonna even out over the ham as it starts to sort of mix with the water and melt down a little bit over the surface. You can use whatever rub you want. And I'm gonna post a rub recipe in the description section below if you don't like Cosmo Q or you don't wanna use it or you just don't have it. All right, there we go. So you can see that the color of the ham is changing a little bit. It's getting a little bit of a reddish orange tinge. And that's from all the sugar and the salt and the other ingredients in this rub, mixing in with the natural moisture and liquid from the ham. And all that flavor is gonna start penetrating into the meat now, and it's gonna create a nice flavorful bark when we put it in the smoker. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to let this meat temper, so come up to temperature a little bit at room temperature for about an hour. And this is important because it's gonna lower your cooking time and it's gonna allow the ham to cook a lot more evenly. So make sure you temper your meat before you put it on the smoker. While your ham is tempering on the counter, preheat the Pit Boss 456D to 225 degrees and make sure your grates are nice and clean. Then place the ham with the cut side down and try to get it as far away from the hot side of the grill as possible, so as far to the right as possible. We're going to be cooking this ham until it reaches an internal temperature of 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So estimate about 15 minutes per pound to get it to that temperature. This is a 15 pound ham and it took just under four hours to come up to 130 internal. Make sure you leave a meat probe in the center of the ham so you can monitor the temperature and take it out at exactly 130. While your ham is smoking away, it's time to prepare your honey pineapple glaze. For this glaze, I'm using half a cup of Cosmos Q Pineapple Heat Rib Glaze and half a cup of honey. Bring it to a light simmer on the stove and make sure it's mixed up well. Then set it aside and wait for your ham to come up to temperature. All right guys, this ham has come up to about 130 degrees internal and I'm glad it has because it's about minus 40 out where I live right now. Super cold, but you know, if you want a barbecue, you gotta do it all year round and you gotta do it whatever the weather conditions are. So let's check this ham and see what it looks like. Whew. Nice. All right, so you can see it's got a good deal of smoke on it. It's got a nice little bark going, which is nice. The exterior has dried out a little bit, which is gonna make it perfect to put the glaze on. So now we're gonna take it inside. We're gonna make some score marks in it just to let the glaze penetrate even deeper into the meat. 
And then we're gonna throw it back on for another 15 to 20 minutes to let that glaze set up and caramelize on the outside. So let's get this inside. All right guys, this ham has come off of the Pit Boss 456D. It is at about 130 degrees internal temperature. So now we're going to glaze it with our pineapple honey glaze. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put some score marks in it because there's not a lot of surface area on the outside of a ham. So we want to increase the surface area by making some score marks so that we can expose more of the inside portion of the ham to the exterior and we can get more of that glaze penetrating into the meat. It's gonna make it taste way better. So what we're gonna do here is we will just make some score marks in a crosshatch sort of fashion, maybe like half an inch down into the pork. And it's all going up kind of towards the top maybe about an inch in width, just like that. All right, now we're going to go the opposite direction like this. Just make a half inch score mark all the way around in sort of concentric circles. There we go. Now we're going to apply our glaze. So I'll take this from the stove. Just dip in my silicone brush and then we're just drizzling it on starting from the top because gravity is going to do its work and it's going to drip down the side. Oh, I can smell that. It smells real good. Wow. Nice. You can really smell the honey, the pineapple, all the other ingredients in the Cosmo Q rib glaze. There we go. Just nice brush strokes. You know, I kind of feel like Bob Ross sometimes the Bob Ross of barbecue, just making little happy little circles, relaxing. Barbecue is a very relaxing endeavor, I find. Just like painting. Now I'm happy with that glaze. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this back on the Pit Boss for another 15 to 20 minutes to set up that glaze and caramelize it on the outside. After it's done, we'll take it up, we'll carve it up and it'll be ready to serve. All right, this ham just came off the Pit Boss 456D and it's looking good. So now it's time to cut into it. What we're gonna try to do is cut along the score lines that we've already made as much as possible. But if you can't, then don't worry about it too much. So the name of the game here is we wanna cut some concentric circles all the way around in the form of the slices that we're going to serve. We cut with our knife all the way down to the bone until you can just feel the bone. Don't wanna put too much pressure on it because you don't want to dull your knife. Okay, so we've cut all along the outside in a concentric ring, so now we can just slice down one of the sides, just like this. Oh, whew. fell off a little bit there. But look at that, that looks delicious. All right, I've cut these up into some serving slices, a couple of different varieties here, and now I'm gonna take a little bit of a taste test. Oh man, this looks good. Mm. Really nice smoked flavor. You can really tell it's been double smoked because it's a lot of smoke flavor. You can really taste that hickory coming through. It's got that nice pineapple and honey. And it also has a little bit of kick from the Cosmos Q pineapple heat because it had a lot of spicy ingredients in there. But the sugar really elevates the flavor and the smoke takes it to another level beyond that. So this is really good and I'm really happy with it. Well, thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button so you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. Happy smoking.